Good morning. Today I would like to tell you what it's like to be a committed student athlete. For me, my sport that I loved was football. But throughout middle school and high school, I played football, ran track, as well as played basketball. But my main sport was football. So maybe that's what we're going to focus on. Coming out of midgets, going into middle school, I knew that I loved football with a passion. I knew that's what I wanted, so that's what I wanted to pursue. Knowing that, I got guidance set up with personal trainers, tutors, as well as my teachers helped me and guiding me along the way. My parents were on my back, making sure I was on the right path. I knew what I, I thought I knew what I was going into, but it turns out I really didn't. So for, I would like to give you a glimpse in the day of life and a student, of a student athlete in middle school. I would wake up at five o'clock, lift, shower, eat, do a little studying before school, go to school. After school, I would go to football practice and then go to football studying and then go to study hall, go home, lift, shower, eat, watch a little TV, and then go to sleep. This process is what I did all throughout middle school when I got up to the high school level. This is when my personal trainer and my tutors came in into play and everything started going as a whirlwind. I say this because everything was thrown at me all at once, freshman year in um, high school that is. I started on the varsity team my freshman year in high school. I played football out in uh, New York City. I went to a private school. The school paid for me to go there so me as a 16, 17, 18 year old, performing on the field was important, just as much as performing in school, of course. But to me, the field was more important. Of course, to my parents, school was more important, which should have been, but at the time, I was not thinking like that. So once again, I had a very, very similar routine. Wake up, lift, but instead of lifting, I would go for a jog in the morning. I would eat breakfast, I would study for school, I would go to class. After after school, I would uh, meet with my tutors, make sure I was on the right course, right path. After that, I would go play. I would go practice on the football field. After that, I would skip my study hall with my tutors. I uh, tutored with them four times out of the week. I would usually skip one just to uh, get an extra lift in. Now, when it came to my personal trainer, in high school, my personal trainer had me on a set routine, set schedule of sleeping, a set schedule of eating, a set schedule of my intake of my uh, protein and all that nutritional stuff for my body so I could build mass muscle correctly, properly for my position. When it comes to football and um, High school, I was a wide receiver, I was a running back, and I was a defensive back. That's a lot of physical action, a lot of moving around, a lot of fast play, so I had to be ready out there on the field. My personal trainer had me ready for that. Now when it came to school, my tutors, they harped, they harped, they harped, your grades are important. And yes, I did understand that. But well, like I said, my mindset, unfortunately, was driven on the football field instead of more so in school. And that's a downfall on my part, which I regret nowadays, but I cannot go back and change. So all I could do is inform other high school students now, education comes first, always comes first. I tell that to my sisters, I tell that to my nieces and nephews. Hopefully they don't make the same mistake I made. I got to the college level, yes I did. I uh, applied to Penn State. I made it to the main campus my freshman year, and when I tell you it's a whole different ball game there, I mean it is a whole different ball game. Same routine, more strict, a lot harder. You have to be, it's around the clock, football 24-7, but you still have to make time for your schoolwork as well as your classes, and if you don't, they will kick you out, and unfortunately, that's what happened to me. I got caught up in the party scene because I didn't have any anybody on my back pushing me to stay in class. I would skip class. I would only show up when I knew there was a test and 
after my second semester on campus, I got the boot off the football team. I was still allowed to be on campus. I still went to Penn State for another year, but I couldn't gather my belongings and I couldn't mentally prepare myself to focus to get back to where I wanted, which was to play football. But I struggled on the school side of things. So my key point today is follow your dreams, follow your passion, do what you love. I love the sport of football. I played it for at least 12, 13 years. I still play, right now I play semi-pro and I still follow that same exact routine. Minus the, um, I don't work out as much, so minus that part. But other than that, I still follow the same routine. I'm still focused in school now. And when it comes to playing on the field, I still get lookouts from um, colleges. So yes, I'm still in that same routine of what I call the committed student athlete routine. Wake up, run, breakfast, study for school, practice, lift. Make sure you get the right nutrition, make sure you're focused mentally and physically, you're fully hydrated, you're ready to go to start your day. And to this day, I regret not fully being prepared when I stepped onto the college scene. But I know now the knowledge to tell this new young generation how important it is to stay on top of your things, stay on top of school, because that's number one. Thank you for your time.